how to create a very uniform grid in Affinity Photo. Now, of course, as with all things with applications, there's many ways to do it. You probably could use nodes, you probably could use lines, but I'm gonna use squares. So I'm just gonna remove that one now. Don't want that. What I wanna do, and I'm just gonna leave it there so I can still use it at a later point. But what I can do, I'm just gonna go over here to the rectangle tool and hold down the shift. Now, obviously I've got a different color of there, the fill color. Now, what you can do, you can also go to view and studio and make certain you've got layers. So you've got the layers here, it makes it easier just to see and you can select all the layers that way. Also, what you can do, snapping manager. So view and snapping manager. Enable snapping, make certain all the snap to grid, all those snap to guys, all those are on. Just remove that. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna duplicate this design. Now you could do this via layer menu. So layer menu and duplicate. But what you can also do is you can hold down the ultra option key. Now, people have asked me, where's the ultra option key? Now it varies on the keyboard. So, I mean, I've got a Mac and maybe on the PC, it's slightly different, but there's the alt, it says alt, or normally you see option or OPT or something like that. It might be somewhere else because I've had keyboards where it's all over the place. Sometimes I've had it over here. Why, I don't know, but it uh, should be over there. So you can just see it alt there. Just hold it down and duplicate. Sorry about that noise, just slap that down. Now, hold down the alt or option key. Like I say, it depends if you're on a PC or Mac. And now you can space it. Now I find the easiest way to work with this is to create another thin rectangle. And I'm just gonna create a thin rectangle just for the spacing. So I'm gonna use the width. So I'm just gonna, that's why I like the snapping. So you can see the snap, it just snaps nicely to the edge. And now what I can do, I can just drag that down and it snaps to the grid, to that square and just there, move it there, and now click that one, hold down the ultra option key, and duplicate again, and you can move it around, and again, snaps nicely to that rectangle. And again, just yeah, put it there, click there, and you can keep, keep doing that. Move that, you don't have to duplicate that. What you want is to uh, just move it to the edge of that square, and go to back to that other square and then duplicate that. Or you could use the first one, it's perfectly reasonable as well. And again, snap to that. Now, move that out of the way. Now you could create obviously loads more squares than that. I've only just gone through five. Now you could go for four or three or whatever, or 20. Now probably because they're not in, well they are actually quite nicely in line, but if they're not in line, what you can do, just go over here, there's alignment. So click there, or there's a range. That's another option as well. And what you can then do is you can just go, for, not that one, <laughs> that's for the next one. You want to go here, align vertically, and just go for align middle. Weirdly, it puts it into the middle of the screen. Not certain why, because I want it up here again. But it just does it, just puts it down. But it's all nicely aligned now. So what you can do once you've done that, and of course you've got them here as well, You've got them in a number of places, you've got there, you've got a range, you've got a line middle there. But weirdly, you haven't got the distribute. But you don't need the distribution because you're, I'm using this just very simple sort of rectangle. Now what you can do, you can go to layer and geometry and you go down to the bottom, it says merge curves. So what happens, it becomes one solid curve or one path. Just put it up there. And now what you can do, hold down the ultra option key again, and obviously duplicate that entire row. Now just move that around. I like to get it sort of in line, but now what you can do then is use this. So I'm just gonna move and rotate that, because obviously I don't want it at that angle, I want it at that angle. And then I can click there, and you can see then clicks there. And again, move that one down to there, hold down the ultra option key, Again, you can sort of judge it. You could you obviously could use the measurement settings as well. But you can click there. And again, move that down to there. Hold down the ultra option key and duplicate that one. 
and you can keep doing that obviously all the way down if you want to go for 30 or 40 rows perfectly reasonable as well but you can just use this nice divider now i haven't finished with that divider because i'm just going to now just merge them all into one once i've done the spacing uh, the uh, alignment just go up here to the alignment and just go align center so they're all nicely all aligned now now what i can do is go to layer geometry and merge curves strange enough so they're all one curve now that's a reasonable grid if that's what you want as your grid and they're all nicely spaced there what you can then do is you can well i'm just going to rotate that i don't have to do that of course what you can do you can go over here and rectangle tool and you can create another rectangle and i'm just going to put that over the top now i don't want it over the top i want it to be below so i'm just going to just drag that one down go to the layers select it and then drag and just drag it just below you can see this line appear just release it once you put it there so now you've got this curves above that's the grid and you've got this rectangle below what you can do you can change the color as well i'm just going to quickly change the color so you can see it now what you can now do is you can see you can obviously align those if you want simply go up here align align However, you might notice that this is bigger than this. If you want them to be exactly the same, this is again very useful. It's just to have here, and you can just go over here and just use this again. So it snaps there, you can see the snap in there, and also you click the background design, and again, just resize it. And it snaps nicely that green there. And again, you go over this side, you can see it snapping nicely there. Click the back one and then just resize. It snaps nicely there. Oh, don't do that. We'll move that one. So that's nicely, exactly the same as the others. What you can then do, of course, is do the opposite. Just rotate that and just go there and select the back one, one and then just drag that up. They've snapped to that. They've snapped to that. So we've got it exactly there exactly the same click that one and go down to here snap to the grid so snap nice to the grid select the background one and then just resize that again and then that's all uniform move out of the way now and what you do you can just quickly if you want you can group them just right click and group perfectly reasonable just group them all like that or if you want to actually have them cut through if you want to Another way of doing this is simply you know, expand that. Just select that one and that one. So you've got the background as well as the grid. What you can then do is go to a layer and geometry and you can do subtract. And then you've got it. So now you've got your nice uniform grid and you can see it's just standing. And if you don't want it in the group, you can just drag it out and put it up there. So you've got your grid, which you can of course resize now, of course, it loses the size. Now, if you want to modify and do things, you, of course, resize that as well. So you've got to keep it, or just work it out from just going to this and just resizing to the new size. Just as easy as well. And, of course, you can rotate it and you can combine. So you've got that. Hold down the alter option key again. Always alter option key. Or use the layer. Simply go to layer and duplicate. And you can then just duplicate that and you can snap to there and you can create say more complex grids. Snap over there. Nicely aligned there. Hold down the alter option key and maybe rotate. Of course it doesn't have to be. And you could just create all kinds of very abstract grids as well as obviously more uniform grids in this example i'm going to use lines so let's just move that a bit more to central there and i'm just going to go over here to the rectangle tool and just create a line now you can make all different sizes of lines i'm just going to go for a nice thin line there and i'm going to have a reference square this time so there's a square hold down the shift and you've got a nice square there and i'm going to use that for my alignment my spacing i should say so i'm just going to Click there, you can see as soon as you click, snaps to. And again, hold, go that 
that line there, hold down the alter option key. And again, you can go over to there and you can see it snaps too. If you just let's zoom in so you can see it a bit better. So there you can see that suddenly a little green thing, it will indicate that you've snapped to that edge. And then what you can do, you can move that square to there and then again, go to that one and hold down the alter option key. And then again, you can see the snap there. Just move that there, go there, hold down the alter option key, drag, and then there. And then just across, and then go to this line, hold down the alter option key to create a new copy, and just drag across there. And again, you can always just move the square, and you can see, then just position it there. So it's all nicely spaced all the way across. Zoom out so you can see all those designs. So you can select all of those. Once you've done that, what you can then do is you can, of course, best to go for up here and go for, make sure it's aligned middle. So everything's all nicely aligned. And you can then convert it into a complete via a layer, geometry, and merge curves. Now, I'm not going to do that at this point. I'm just going to do that later. I'm just going to, so I want to just quickly resize that slightly, reduce that down. Now, just duplicate one of these designs and then hold down, and now rotate it. And what you can then do is you can go across that way. Now, what you want, of course, is, I'm going to zoom in so you can actually see it. It's probably better. And again, this snaps exactly. You can see if I zoomed all the way in. Now I've got to go over a bit over there. You can get it snapping there. You've got a nice green. So that line is there. And again, you drag over to there. And you might want it to this. So what you can do, you can simply just drag across like that. And now that's nicely all equal, all the way around. Now what you can then do, I'm just going to zoom out again. I can... Now I can use this reference square again, just go through there and hold down the alter option key and drag downwards. And again, snap with those. Use that square again, go to that one, hold down the alter option key and hold the square. Down, hold the alter option key and drag and down to there. And you can see why I want, well, if I want a full grid, I'm obviously not going to, obviously I need a little bit more than that. So I'm just going to drag these ones down, just resize it. So you can just see, now I'm just going to go back to that square and just go there. Again, okay, you've got all the very snapping, so it snaps into that square. Hold down the alter option key and just duplicate it again. Okay, so you've got that design there. Now just move that out of the way. And now what you can do, you can select that one, select that one, select that one, select that one, and select that one. You can do, of course, the same over in the layers panel. And again, just so they're all nicely in thing, just go to the there, alignment, or go to arrange, perfectly reasonable as well, and then align horizontally. So they're all nicely aligned horizontally. At this point, what you can do, you can now notice that, of course, you've got this thing. I don't want that. So, but I can what I can do? I can select, select that, select that, select that, select that one, and select that one. And again, just resize it. So it just snaps again to that position. So you've got that nice grid all the way around. And that just creates a nice uniform grid. This is another way of doing it, obviously, exactly the same as before. But this time with, obviously, thing. and again, what you can do, you can go to layer, and geometry. Now, weirdly, the merge curves, and if I do that, I'm going to show merge curves, it actually creates a very odd design. Now, it doesn't merge it in a way that I would think. However, what you can do, undo, I don't want to do that. Undo merge curves. Now, I'm just going to, the easiest way is just to go to layer and geometry and add. And that does the exact same thing. So it's all nicely added in a way. So you've got this single curve, which of course can resize. Now, if you wanted to create, obviously you can create other designs than this. You can always add, of course, lines to it. 
don't have to have it keep it the same. So I can just go over here. And you can see the line there. I just simply create a rectangle on top of it and it will again snap to if I go zoom in so you can actually see it. Just simply create another rectangle on top of it. And if you want to, you probably easy and just change color. Doesn't have to be the same color, does it? You have to, you can go for say maybe like that. You can see it's all nicely the same size that it snapped to. Zoom out again, and then you can simply create some additional lines. Now you can create it within the cell. So you can create that, hold down the order option key again. I didn't want that selected, I want that one selected. Hold down the order option key, and you can see then snap it down there, hold down the order option key, and position it there. Obviously, just then you have to spend a bit of time just to align it so it makes it all snaps nicely. And of course, you can also, if you want, hold down the order option key, but you can just rotate it. Rotate it correctly. Hold down there, shift, and then you can reposition that. And again, it will snap to that. They all should be equal. So you can do, of course, create all kinds of, and also if you want to, you can always, of course, go to a rectangle or square, again, rectangle tool, and just fill it maybe like that. Maybe change the color. Go for pink. Right there. And that will fill your grid with all kinds of different designs. So you can see you can create all kinds of grids with combinations of rectangles as well as lines, and of course using the alter option. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. I'm always adding new tutorials about Finity Photo, Finity Publisher, Finity Designer. Critter, Photoshop, Illustrator, Painter, Rebel, and many, many others. Also, if you've got any comments, any questions, maybe I went over something too fast, need something else to be explained, maybe I did something wrong, quite, quite possible, please let me know. So the key thing is, with this, is definitely make certain that you've got the very snapping, so you can actually see that it snaps nicely into different designs. That's a key thing. Also, a dislike or like. Thank you much.